Hello and welcome to the show. Today I'm going to be taking a look at perhaps one of the most impressive mods I have seen yet for Car Mechanic Simulator. This is it. Well, this is more precisely the start of it because this particular Pontiac GTO can be stripped down to the point where it is just a chassis. You can literally build it from the well, ground up from the very, very basics of the car. And there is so much customization on this vehicle. It's utterly incredible. So, yeah, that's what we're going to, to be doing. We're going to start by welding, I assume using the welder on the chassis here, or using a welder here is going to fix up the rust on the chassis. Indeed it is. Fantastic. You can then go back over there. So now we've got a nice crisp clean chassis. The engine that comes with this is the supercharged classic V8, the same that we had in the Ford Hot Rod. Uh, was it two carb? Two carb supercharged V8 from standard had nearly 500 horsepower. By the time we are done with it is probably going to have a fair bit more uh, because of course I'm going to put all of the performance parts that I can. We're not going to be working on the engine today probably. I doubt we're going to get around to that. There is far too much other things to... Uh, <laughs> to be building with this car. Now I have gone through off camera and repaired as much of the vehicle as I can. I don't know if we're going to have... Well, I, this was a junkyard fight. I was actually going through the junkyard looking for bits of, for the D Tomosa. I was hoping to make some progress on that car and then got very, very distracted when I found essentially a bare chassis of a uh, Pontiac. And then that got me... Um, interested in building this vehicle up, hence why we are doing doing this instead. We've got plenty of upper suspension. Do you reckon we could just turn one of these upside down and could put that on the bottom for the other side because I'm lazy? Uh, <laughs> do we reckon we could get away with that? I mean, uh, I'm not sure any of my cars would pass inspections, MOTs, etc. when I've finished messing around with them. Oh, I also put together the shots just because it's extra time consumption and uh, faffing around with those. Um, yeah, I'm not sure any of the vehicles I work on in this game are particularly safe. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, maybe maybe it'll be okay. Steering rack, we have got one of those hanging around. Sway bar, hey, we have got a sway bar as well. Um, so far, with the combination of bits and pieces that we have got, we're not actually going to be too far away from having the whole front end of this car be repairable, which is not too shabby at all. Uh, that has to be from the engine bay. Uh, oh, this has an ignition coil. Damn it, typically we didn't get an ignition coil off of the engine. When it came in, it didn't have an ignition coil, so I couldn't steal it and use it for the uh, d Tomosa. Yeah, finding the parts of that Pantera is proving a little bit difficult. In the trip to the junkyard where I ended up getting this car, I found nothing of any use for it. Which is not great, I'll be honest. It's not, it's not massively helpful, but that's, that, that, that's when you try and build a car using just scavenged parts. That's the price you pay sometimes for uh, for that sort of sort of stuff. It does make it more rewarding when you finish with the car, but at the moment, yeah, progress is a little bit slow on the old uh, on the old Pantera. Ooh, I bet I didn't put in wheel bearings and the cap on the other side, did I? Nope, probably not. Uh, in fact, I know it because it's not glowing up to tell me that there is a wheel that can be put in. And hubcap, there we go. So I think it is just the bottom suspension arm that we don't have. Let's go and grab that. Uh, bottom, I think it's just a normal bottom suspension arm. That one will work. And plenty of rubber bushings. We should have stacks of rubber bushings hanging around now <laughs> from the various the various re rebuilds that we've got. Uh, double wishbone shock absorber and the sway bar end link. Perfect. Now let's jump our way back over to corner. Thank you, game. We'll have bearing. We've got plenty. It's good. Uh, for a while, I lost a lot of those. I don't know, <laughs> don't know why, but we did. So, that is the front end of the car built. So, when we stick the... I can put the, the lifter back down again. It looks really cool. I know it, to, a, to an extent, it does look kind of bare with the way that cars are built up on this game. You're not usually uh, able to take the entire kind of bodywork off. So, Sure, it does look a little bit bare, but yeah, it's really, really cool. It's really, really well done. Uh, this mod's made by a guy called uh, Fully Sick. He's done a few cars that I believe are stripped down to this level. I think the GTO is perhaps one of the most, uh, some of the most options I've seen for some of his uh, for some of his vehicles. But quite a few of them. There's a, a Chevrolet. 
uh, pick up thing. I can't remember the name of the car now. But uh, yeah, there's a couple that are able to be stripped down to this sort of level. It's a really, really cool way of, of rebuilding, rebuilding cars. <laughs> When you when you give modders these these kind of games, it's amazing what they can what they can come up with, what they can do with the stuff because it's all kind of using different parts of the bodywork to be able to take off like the entire shell and so on. It's it's yeah clever, clever clever techniques indeed. We will get to that uh, fairly shortly. Looks like I'm going to have enough to do one side of the rear of this suspension. But actually, I know part of the reason why we're not going to because this actually got fairly complicated rear suspension rather than just having the double wishbones all around that we've seen in quite a few cars of late. This has got, uh, ooh, we need a couple of calipers. This has got, uh, I don't even know what you'd call the rear suspension on this one. I apologise. I'm sure people will, uh, uh, people will be, uh, will be telling me what it is. Um, but yes, it's a more fancy. Uh, I don't think I need any cylinders actually. I think we were good for those. Yeah, we've got plenty of those now. It's interesting how different parts I kind of lose and then they come back. Oh, they come back. I kind of acquire them over time sometimes, and other times it's the one bit that we're missing constantly. Uh, yeah, either way, this, this suspension, we haven't worked on this that often. There's a fair few components to it. Uh, so when it comes to repairing or when you get junkyard cars, it's like more likely to be bits that either get broken or that just weren't repairable in the first place. Yeah, we're going to need... Ooh, we're going to end up running out of small rubber bushings. Damn. <laughs> First time we've needed to buy bushings in ages. In, in a very long time, indeed. Right, let's get over this side. I may as well manage to get all the knuckle housings survived. That's uh, quite unusual for me. Uh, so all of the rear suspension arms... Oh, the upper arm is good. Ah, we need rubber bushings for that. Uh, let's go... Should we stick these in? We'll see if we need any of the big... A big rubber bushing. The smaller rubber bushings aren't used as often, so I guess that's probably why we've ended up not having enough for that. You will go in there, and that one. Uh, only downside with this um, vehicle I've found so far, in terms of the uh, building of it, getting to the battery was a little bit awkward, because <laughs> the battery wants to be from the engine bay. The engine bay all the way at the front, if you click on that, it's actually out of range. So if you click go via the engine or cooling or whatever, the battery's out of range in the distance. Um, so you have to uh, you have to click on it from a very specific angle at the side to uh, to get to it. It's the only little thing. Also, the fuel tank's tiny. Uh, not quite... <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, it's slightly oddly scaled when you look at it from some angles. So there we go. Uh, shock absorber. Okay, so rear shock absorber A we need. We basically need all the suspension arms. Rear shock absorber A, we need that. Rear suspension arm, that one. Yes, I think we have the upper arm is good. I think that one's broken, and I think that one's broken as well. Uh, let's get some bushings. We'll get a stack of these because we'll probably use them at some point. Uh, <laughs> I think we've got plenty of the big ones. That should do... Oh, I think we need a Wheel Hub 3 as well, didn't we? Yes, indeed, we did. Wheel Hub 3. Perfect. Then we will be ready to start the kind of exciting part. Oh, and we need a rear Wheel Hub as well. Uh, yeah, this bit is stuff that, you know, we've all, we've, all, we've, we've all seen before, we've all done before to the various cars on this, uh, on this game. It's the bit that comes next that is the uh, exciting part where we get to, to get to decide slash choose. I tried to go for two words at the same time. I'm quite good at that one. Uh, <laughs> what style of GTO we end up going for. I'm tempted to go gasser. I think I might go for go for the gasser style, just because it's like that we've not seen in this game before, like race cars and drag cars and so on. We have well, gasser is drag car, but it's a very specific type of drag car. And I did spy an option to build one, so that is what we're going to. Oh, I didn't need one of these. Never mind. Uh, that is what we're going to have potentially a look at. And at the end of the day, I can just swap it all out when I want something different. I can just change the the main body style uh, to something completely different when I'm bored of having a gasser. It's perhaps you know, one of the most flexible cars you'll have ever seen in this game. Right, that is the brakes on, the drive axles in, and I think there's one more bushing to go here. That should be the back of the car done, I think. So now when we uh, lower our chassis... Looks, yeah, look, it looks really cool. Looks really cool indeed, apart from the Diddy fuel tank. Uh, right, so, running gear completed. Let us go to the shop. Now, this is going to lag my game to hell, so um, 
Yeah, we'll, we'll give the game a minute to load all of the various bits in the body shop. So, here we are, searching for parts for the GTO. This is how many parts there are for this mod. Still, we're still going. We're only halfway down the... <laughs> halfway down the parts list. It's crazy. It's absolutely ridiculous, the amount of options, the amount of bits that you have for the vehicle. Uh, so yeah, I'm kind of curious to see how all of this is going to work. So, I'm assuming we're going to need to get the, the body. So, we're going to go for race car slash gasser body on this one. Now, I am imagining that, um, yeah, kind of various bits will change change the look of the car. So, this, well, this will be a generic body for, for both of them. Other parts will make it look like a gasser, possibly. I guess we're going to find out. I actually quite know how assembly is going to all work for this. So, it's rear left fender, I think, is the... Oh, um, for, uh, no, maybe it's not rear left fender then. Uh, rear right fender. Uh, no, that's left fender again. Okay. <laughs> maybe. Maybe we should go through... Is it, no, it's not rear right fender. What was it? Okay, what did we buy? Hold on. Hold on. Uh, body? That's probably what we're going to want. There we go. Right. So, we've got rear left fender... C ah, it might be... It might be that... Because this came as a uh, drag car, it might be that it has to now go as a... Ah, that'd be a shame, but that is kind of, unfortunately, a bit of the way it works here. So, if we go rear left... We need rear left... Uh, drag car? Where's drag car? I did see the drag car body somewhere. Somewhere. Uh, hmm. Let's just buy a couple of these and see if I can figure out what I'm doing with it. <laughs> Um, okay, oh, no, not front end. Rear left fender. Okay, so a couple of... Right, okay. Unfortunately, we can't have the gas, so I guess we have to have a, a completely... A completely different base for the car. That's a slight it's a slight shame. Slight shame on, on, in all of that, but I guess it's just the way that the, the game restricts vehicles. So, <laughs> either way, still... <laughs> Still bloody cool to have this much in the way of options. Now, we should, I guess, be able to have the gas a front end, because that was just a front end part, wasn't it? Oh, bloody hell. Um, right. <laughs> this is a uh, bit awkward to get through. So, we'll, I guess we'll try the gas a front end. I mean, we've got plenty of money to kind of just throw at this, so it doesn't matter. We'll grab a stock front end as well. Uh, do we have anything... Any other options in terms of front end? No, I think that's all other stuff. Let's see what it lets us put on here. Assembly mode. Right, front end. Okay, nothing works for the front end at the moment. <laughs> um, okay, well that's that's helpful. A little, little bit confusing to figure out what works. You know what I might just do? Here's, here's a new plan. Let's just buy everything. Okay, this is the new. This is the the I think I'm, I'm buying parts that I've already got now. But we're gonna buy everything, and then we can decide that way. Definitely the best way of doing things here. Okay, so I've got on board every single GTO part that I can find, and we will see what I can do with the vehicle. So front end, we can have stock front end, or we can have right. We can have a drag car front end. Uh, so, whoop, we will stick that in there. Front bumper, we've got a lot of different options for. So, yeah. Ooh. Oh, God, I should put extra ones of those because I'm a fool. Um, yeah, so interestingly, uh, it will still be slightly uh, split into models. So if you do want to get a gasser version of this car, for an example, you will have to find the gasser chassis. And I guess that's kind of fair enough because trying to chop up a chassis like this it would have to take a lot of work to make it look like a gasser. So, yeah, kind of makes, kind of makes sense. We can have a fiberglass. Uh, fiberglass front left fender, or we can have a stock fender. Let's go for the fiberglass while we're making a drag car after all, so lightness is good. Uh, we will stick the fiberglass front right fender on as well. Oopsie. Uh, assembly mode, there we go. Now, hoods, there are stacks of different options on here. Uh, we can have stock, actually, we'll need one potentially with a hole on it because we're going to have a, um, what's it called? Uh, supercharger on the, on this. Uh, um, yeah, I think we'll probably go with that for now. May change it. May change that. Uh, we can have 
different types of headlights uh, on the car. Uh, we'll stick these on for now, and we'll I'll see what I see what I reckon uh, to all of that. I did see options for uh, like air intakes and so on, but I think that might be sadly for slightly different versions. So we could have shoot, slightly different shooting versions. Oh, we get a paintable one. Yeah, let's get a paintable one on there. Fantastic. And then, oh, I'm really hoping it's going to let me do this. <gasps> yes, it will! We can have a mighty wing! It's not quite as mighty as the wings from the cars on Need for Speed. However, I'll, it's pretty good. <laughs> it's it's pretty damn good. We will, we will give it that much. Rear bumper. Ooh, lots of options. Wheelie bar with parachutes, I think, is the uh, way to go. Paintable wheelie bar with parachutes. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm not expecting it to be able to do a wheelie, but it's quite cool. It can certainly look the part. We will get the uh, tail lights for it, uh, rear window. We can have dark window. We can have sort of tinted windows, or we can have clear window. I think we're going clear windows. It's a race car. And left side doors, uh, left window, clear windows for this, and clear window on that. Yeah, there's crazy, crazy amounts of uh, customization. To, to this to this mod, I, I would say it rivals a lot of. Oh, that's the wrong one. Bloody hell! Uh, it rivals a lot of actual. I say actual actual cars, actual games in terms of customization with the, the different things. If you could swap, if you could like swap stuff about in the same or in between the different sort of specs of the car, then I would say that it's yeah, it's almost as good as. Uh, many games manage in terms of customization in general here. Uh, it's kind of a kind of a shame we can't go too crazy with everything, but there we go. Now if we get back to normal mode, there we are. So that is our <laughs> our, our GTO. That is the uh, stealth GTO. I kind of quite like it in the matte black. I'll be honest. Uh, <laughs> this is just the generic um, color that all the parts end up coming in. I also love how it is almost like brushed aluminium inside there's a nice looking car in here we're just gonna get the we're just gonna take the door off because i wanted to have a look at the interior uh i guess we should let's should we could do oh no that's not what i wanted to do I, well, I do want to assemble interior but let's go and buy the actual bits for the interior first um oh that's a very good thought i just saw a roll cage and wondered if that's going to, uh, I don't know, that's not what we want, we want interior disassemble, interior assemble. Uh, ah, maybe we can't put it, or maybe we need to, uh, maybe it doesn't, maybe it doesn't go in, in this uh, version of the car. Sure, let's go and jump back to the interior shop. So we're going to need a wheel of some sort. Now this is, a, of course, a full-on race car, so we're going to need a racing wheel of some sort. Uh, I guess it's going to be sort of between wheel 7 and wheel 8. Uh, let's go wheel 8 and then we're going to need a front seat. Do they have bucket seats on here? Um, not really is the answer. They don't have like a proper full-on racing seat. Uh, I guess these are kind of closer. Seat 11 it's kind of close to being a racing seat. I mean, it is. It's kind of the right. The seat itself is the right style. I don't really like the big old base bit that it has on it. Um, there's not really any better options out there. So I think that's what we'll end up. We'll get, we'll get the. Uh, <laughs> I don't even know if that would fit in it. <laughs> I guess probably the RX7s might be closest. You know what? Let's grab that seat. I'll, I'll decide. We'll put them both in the car and we'll see. Uh, it was seat 11 is that what I'm looking for, that one there. Yeah, we'll stick them both in the car, we'll see what looks the part. That interior, assemble, front left seat. Oh, we've got all sorts of seats hanging around <laughs> at the moment. Uh, I already had a seat 11, uh, typical. Right, so RX-7 seat goes in like so, steering wheel is on there. Uh, it might be a little bit low sat in this car, let's, let's be honest, we'll try the other one. Interior, assemble, and seat 11. Yeah, I think the other one, because uh, <laughs> while it does look quite low, if you look at the uh, positioning where your knees would... No, <laughs> steering wheel would be in a very uncomfortable position. <laughs> Let's get rid of that. Interior assemble. I think we'll stick with that. You, you are going to sit very, very low down in the car, but 
Uh, it's a race car, so it's fine. Right, and then we need to put the door on, don't we? Unfortunately, when you take the doors off, it takes everything off with it. You can't... Oh! Bugger. You can't put it all back on in one go. And... Uh, normal mode to get that. Assembly. Seat. Clear window. Uh, we can't... Ah! Okay. Done all of this. Now we're going to do that again. Because... Oh. Maybe we'll get rid of the... I didn't need to do that with a door, did I? I'm an idiot. Uh, so, uh, keep forgetting this. Gonna be throwing up the blank bit. <laughs> Crap. Right. So there is. That's how we get to the rear seats. How we get to put in the roll cage. But I can't do it until the car is off the lifter. I can't do that until we've got the car on some wheels. So I guess that's what we're gonna do next. We're gonna go and look for some wheels for the car. Now we did come with some, but I'm just going to have a look and decide on my own as to what I want to use for the for the drag car. Uh, I tend not to spend much time <laughs> when it comes to dealing with wheels for for cars. I tend to just sort of stick on whatever and hope that it looks okay. So, yeah, it, it might look a little bit weird because that's just me picking wheels for, for Carl. I tend to prefer the, and I said this before, the, the, the larger number of sort of multi-spoke wheels. I don't like five-spoke wheels and that kind of thing on vehicles. I know kind of, technically speaking, probably Rolex, TBX, those sort of wheels are probably more accurate to the GTO. I actually quite like these. I quite like the uh, Rim Retro 04. Shall we go for, um, we would probably have, uh, 16 might be a little bit big, but I'm going to try and do some fun stuff with the tyres. So let's go 16 with these. Now, tyres. We're going to want insanely wide tyres at the back. We're going to want tiny little tyres at the front if it's going to look the part. So that is what we shall try and do here. Uh, tire shop. So we are going to, of course, it's a drag car. We're going to have slick tires. Every really slick tire B as well for the um, for the lettering. So sixteen, we can go up to three o five. Profile. We're probably going to want a bit bigger. Uh, don't really know what size profile we're going to want. That might be a bit too large. Let's go. Let's go 60. We'll buy that and we'll see what it looks like. It might not look right because I don't really know what... Oh, bugger, I've got stacks of wheels hanging around. Uh, yeah, it might might look completely wrong or it might end up working out quite nicely. Uh, that's not... Uh, that might do the trick because because it being a drag car, it's going to have horrendously large rear tyres. So let's go and balance that up. Yes, and then uh, install... I do quite like these wheels, actually. Uh, <laughs> I am relatively, relatively happy with the wheels. I don't know whether it will work on the GTO when we've done it, but relatively happy with the wheels. Take that off of there. Come on. Hurry up, balancer. Do your thing quicker. Thank you. Uh, all you need to do is give it a little bit of encouragement. Just a little bit of encouragement, and that tends to do the trick. Right, GTO. Rim on. Is there going to be any tyre rub? going on from that. Uh, potentially. Oh, I like that. I like that. It's quite low. Uh, <laughs> it looks the part, though. Actually, that's not bad guesswork. It's not bad guesswork, I think, on my part. Forgetting that. It, it doesn't touch the fender, as far as I can tell. It certainly doesn't look like... It, it, it's very, very close fitting down there, but it doesn't look like it's actually touching the... Uh, touching the fender. So, yeah, it might be touching... like inside if you like um it might be touching on on the yeah sort of at the top you can't really see from the outside you can't really know for sure uh so i mean it's it's close yeah i guess it would just be a little bit there because i think that's where that ghost uh part shows where the wheel arch is but now nah, it looks cool i like it that's fantastic right and then front wheels we're gonna have tiny little front wheels uh actually not sure how uh, I'm just trying to think how the game detects tyre size. You can have smaller front tyres than rear tyres. We know that will work. Uh, how did he, I guess, 165? 
do we want to go 60 again for the profile? No, we probably don't want to have as big a profile on these either, do we? Just trying to think of my drag cards. Uh, <laughs> let's give this a try. 45. We'll see how this looks. Uh, install. I don't know what the game is going to do at all when I do this to a car. Like, it will probably freak out that I'm doing this to a car, but... We'll see. You know, we've got to try. We've got to experiment with the weirdness. Uh... <laughs> Balance that up. I don't think... Like, I'm just looking at the, the actual... actual. Ooh, no, 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 don't want that. The actual rim size of these. I don't think it lets you have two different rim sizes on the car. So if I wanted to try messing around in that way, I don't think it lets you do that. I might be wrong, though. So, yeah, don't don't hold me to that one. Certainly you have to have the wheel... The, the tyre width has to be the same... Uh, side to side, so the rear tyres on the left and right hand side have to have the same tyre widths, but front can have smaller tyre widths in the back, so that's what we had on the uh, hot rod. Okay, front wheels are on, car might be a little bit small in terms of profile, I'll be honest on that actually. Might be. <laughs> Although then again, you know, drag. I've seen the, the Dodge Demon, when the Dodge Demon has its... Um, uh, the dog uh, has its drag sort of spec on the car with the front wheels. They are pathetic little things. <laughs> they are absolutely pathetic. I think perhaps a little bit... I mean, the tyre width is okay. I think perhaps a little bit bigger tyre profile on that might not be a bad idea. Let's go and... Yeah, let's go and buy some of those. So what was that, like 45 I think I had on that? Uh, slick tire B, 16, uh, yeah, probably would have been 45. So if we went to get 60, uh, maybe 55, let's do that. Right, we will go and grab this wheel off of the car again. Oopsie, part unmount, that's what we want. So far, pretty bloody happy with the way that uh, this car is shaping up. Wheels work better than I thought they might. Uh, oh, we've got to uninstall, don't we? Separate parts, uh, yeah, take those off. It's definitely, definitely got to be one of my favourite mods. I think I've played with it perhaps in any game at all. Certainly on Car Mechanic Simulator. It's uh, <laughs> incredible. It really is. Uh, so we wanted... Six, uh, 165... 55... Did I buy two? I might have bought two without, without thinking. Well, we're going to have plenty around. That might not even be enough either, I don't think. Hmm... Okay, might, might, might need even more than more than that. But I will stick this on the car, and then I'll probably end the episode there. You guys can let me know what you want what you want me to do with the front of the vehicle. Keep it on really ridiculous tyres, or <laughs> or how, quite how you want that uh, that front to line up. I think this might this might be a little bit better. Might have to go a little bit bigger with the tyres. We'll we will have to wait and see. All right, take that. And please be good. Please be good. <laughs> what we're hoping for here. And there we go. That will go on there like so. I think it's better. <laughs> I think it's better. Yeah. I think that's close. It might need to go a little bit bigger. I'm not a hundred. Well, I'm not hundred percent sure. Yeah, I think it might need to go a little tiny bit bigger on that. Can I now? Let's just see. Will it let me do this? Uh, parking front wheels. Yeah, okay. So the front wheels are a little bit. Doesn't let me move it with the front wheels like that, as I kind of expected. All right. So far, the uh, Pontiac drag car is visually looking the part. Missing kind of an important bit. Let's be honest. Missing a, a very important bit. However. That will come later. Uh, yeah, as an incredible mod, I shall uh, make sure to link to this in the description. I highly recommend you go and check it out. And some of the guys' other cars, as I said, there are more that can be stripped down all the way to the chassis, and you can do various stuff with the uh, rebuilds. Little bit, little bit disappointed I couldn't turn it into a gasser. However, uh, I guess the, the, you need to find a different chassis to uh, to work on for that one. But the fact that there's even that option is uh, really very, very cool. That, though, is a going. It's who be it from me. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, uh, goodbye.